Hey friend, it's Simply T again, and I'm back again with another wig install video. Now, I've never tried perm rods before, but I found a wig that I thought would be perfect to test it out on. So if you wanna see how I achieved these curls on this gorgeous highlight nadula hair wig, just keep watching. This is gonna be fun. I'm kicking this look off with a bald cap method. So I'm gonna use my three in one hair edge brush that I picked up from Amazon to help me lay this cap down. And of course, I'm going in with my go-to product, the Bold Hold Liquid Gold, which is perfect for a temporary hold, laying your cap down and even laying your edges down. Now, as the title says, this wig install is going to be a super beginner friendly step by step look at how I like to lay my wigs. So if you like what you see or you want to check out a couple more videos on how I like to lay my wigs, go ahead and check out this playlist above or make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and like this video for so much more. Now that my cap is dry and um, stuck to my head. I am ready to cut off all of the excess parts of the cap and get started on the coloring process. And of course, I'm gonna go in with my Kiss Cover and Care Cream Foundation in the shade Rich Mahogany. Now I'm ready to prep my hairline and my skin before adding the glue. And I'm gonna go in with some of this Bold Hold Skin Protect. And if you can't tell already, I absolutely love Bold Hold lace products. They never steer me wrong, and I think they're perfect for my oily and shiny, sweaty skin. Next, I'm going to cut the excess lace off around my ears, just so I can get a better fit of that frontal on my hairline. Make sure that where the hairline of the wig is matches up with the ball cap hairline that I created. And just to make things a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lace frontal into three sections just to kind of give myself a little more room. Now, for anybody that sweats in their scalp or you know is getting ready to kind of show off their wig styles in the summer heat, this is my go-to wig glue. I'm putting on two to three layers of Bold Hold Active in each of my three sections that I've created on that hairline. And I'm going to wait until each layer of glue turns clear. That's when I know that it's dry and I can go ahead and add the next layer. For a more accurate fit, I always lay down the middle of my lace on my wig first. So you just see me going through and pressing that down into my skin. Now it won't stick completely until I tie it down, but this just helps me hold it over where I need it to be so I can get started on the rest of the sides. As you can see, one of the many reasons that I'm so in love with this 3-in-1 edge brush is because it helps me with every step of the wig install process. Once I lay my glue down with the spatula part, I can turn it right over and use the comb on the back of it to press the lace into my hairline even further. All right, now for the moment of truth. Let me see how these perm rods turn out. Before I comb my fingers through the curls, I'm gonna go ahead and rub some BioSilk Serum through my palms just to make sure that I'm not making the hair frizzy while I'm detangling the curls. Okay T, not bad, not bad, not bad. I like what I see so far. I didn't do too bad. What do you think? 
Now it's time to get rid of that excess lace and get to work on the rest of my hairline and laying this wig down. Now, through experience, I've definitely learned through a lot of hits and misses that rushing through the cutting of the lace can make or break a wig. Um, so I just go ahead and take my time and cut in a jagged motion and try my best not to cut in a straight line for a more realistic effect. girl has been feeling a little more adventurous than usual so I'm going to section out just a few places where I want to practice my baby hairs after I'm done cutting up my sections I'm ready to dip back into my bold hold liquid gold for um, a nice hold on those baby hairs Let's take a look at how these curls turn out. I've got to say, after my first use, I'm really loving the, the use of thumb rods. Um, it's the perfect heatless alternative, and I think it's going to help my wigs last longer so I don't have to use so much heat on it. I kept these in for about two days, and um, this is how tight the curls turned out. To kick this hair up another notch, I'm smoothing it out with my hair wax stick and smoothing over my desired sections with my hot comb because I want to test out a half up, half down look on these curls um, because I've been thinking about wearing my hair that way for my birthday. So let's see how it turns out. And voila, yes, yes, yes. Now, I don't know about you, but I think my birthday hair is finally in full effect. I think I found my look for my birthday this year, y'all. Let me know in the comment box below. Do you prefer the hair down or do you like it half up, half down? Or do you think I should try a side part? Either way, I am loving uh, the results of this experiment of mine. So you know what to do check out these angles drop down in the comment box below and let me know what you think of this wig and the styles that i tried out wearing it um let me know if this was helpful to follow as well if you want me to slow things down or add a couple more details be sure to let me know in the comment box below as always friend thank you so much for clicking play and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend okay and i'll be back same place right here with so much more. See ya.